Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and I have had the craziest couple weeks so I feel like I just want some time to just chill with you guys and maybe answer some questions. So it is time for another Q and Slay. Let's do it. Okay, so my buddy Scott Hoying from Pentatonix asked Beyonce or Lady Gaga and I feel like, I mean that's, it's easy for me but it's hard because they're both queens and they're both kind of everything to me and I love Beyonce and I'm sorry Beyonce but I gotta go with my mother monster. I feel gross calling her mother monster, but really though, she's my mother monster. Um, I gotta say Gaga, though I will collab with either of you. Beyonce and Gaga, I know you're both watching. I'm available. Hit me up. All guest. Let's do it. Shamu would like to know, what book are you recommending on Audible this month? As you guys know, I recommend a new book on audible.com every single month. This month, speaking of Gaga, I feel like it's only appropriate that I recommend Lady Gaga, Queen of Pop. Um, I haven't read it yet, but I feel like I could have written it myself. It is by Emily Herbert, which may or may not be my ghost writer name. It's not mine. Emily did it. It's not me, but I want to read it. You guys can read it too. If you want to get it, it's audible.com slash Tyler Oakley. If you use that link, you get your first book for free. Audible is the best place to find audiobooks, and you guys know them. You guys love them. They, they love this YouTube channel, so I love them back. So if you want to get that audiobook or any other audiobook, you can use audible.com slash Tyler Oakley. You're welcome in advance. Lauren would like to know, how is your boyfriend doing? Is he fully grown yet? Lauren, that's like an intimate question. So as you guys may recall, in my most recent P.O. Box video, one of you sent me a boyfriend and it was like this little like, toy that you can put in some water and after 24 hours, it gets a little bigger. After 48 hours, it gets a little bigger. And then after 72 hours, it's fully grown. Well, I put him in water and then I forgot that I actually had a trip to DC and then to New York and I was gone for like two weeks. So he was kind of in water for a little bit longer than what I was supposed to do. And this is what happened to him. Hold on. So I don't know if you can see it, but he um, absorbed water and then he started to get so big that he was poking out of the water. And what happened was... <laughs> Can we please talk about how my boyfriend grew one big arm and then he has this tiny little arm. I'm kind of obsessed with him. You know what? If there's one lesson I learned from this is that even when you try to grow your own boyfriend, nobody's perfect. Although, look at those abs. But nobody can be perfect, okay? Not even a man that you grow for yourself. So accept people for who they are. I'm accepting my man. I love you. Isabella would like me to describe my tour in two words, and I would have to say, come see. TylerOakleyTour.com. Is that three words now? I'm sorry, but honestly, come see. Emily would like to know, did you get more famous or popular from when you won a Teen Choice Award? I don't know if I got more famous or more popular, but I did get a surfboard. Let me show you. You guys, look at my surfboard. It's humongous. It's kind of overwhelming. Look, it says my name. Tyler Oakley, web star male. Questionable. So this is my surfboard that I won because you guys voted for me for a Teen Choice Award. It's kind of <laughs> ridiculously big. I'm still trying to figure out where I can possibly put it. That makes sense. Um, but I have a surfboard now. I'm so sporty. I'm basically a jock. Christopher would like to know, how many bays do you have? And I only got one bay, and her name is Miranda. Obviously. Look at her. She's so beautiful. Naomi would like to know, what is one thing you can do to make somebody's day better? And I really like this question because it's like, there are opportunities in all of our lives to do something, even if it's like a tiny little thing that'll make somebody's day. And you never know what battles people are going through in their personal lives. So I would say one thing that you can do to make somebody's day a little bit better is just by saying hello, whether it's a text or a call or coming up to them in the hallway and just saying hi. I feel like that sometimes has the power to make people feel less alive alone in the world, and I feel like that is a good thing you can do that anybody can do. So I'm challenging you right now, if you're watching this, um, text somebody, just say hi. Hi, I appreciate you, or hi, how are you? Or hi, how's your day? Or hey, you're cute. Say that. Send them the sparkle emoji. Everybody likes that emoji. Yeah, do that right now. Okay, so that is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That's the version of a sparkle emoji right there. If you want to give me a sparkle emoji, push the thumbs up and subscribe. If you would like to see my latest video, click right there. It's a collaboration with my mother and we do shots. So if you want to see that, it's a good time. If you would like to hear my latest podcast, click right there. It's all about Mother's Day and uh, we celebrate all of our favorite moms, including Grandmother Willow and Mother Goose and of course, Queen Jackie. And if you want to be my person of the week, click right there. 
And before you go, be sure to check out my new episode of Hey USA with Mamrie Hart. I got to go to Las Vegas with her and we did everything. So there's two parts to the episode. Go watch both parts because we went zombie hunting, we went pole dancing, we went construction equipment driving. We did everything. It was kind of incredible. So go watch those. The link are going to be below or you can click right there, I think, maybe. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a fabulous life. I'm going to go with my boyfriend. We got things to do. We got we to gotta get to know each other because I feel like this is the start of a journey of love together. Bye. This is me waving goodbye. Okay, later.